the only job search tip you'll ever need. In my business as a recruiter and a career coach, I talk to job seekers every day who are kind of all over the place. There are thousands of critical details involved in a successful job search and the typical candidate focuses on whatever piece of that process that's currently tripping them up. Whether it be the resume, their interview skill sets, perhaps it's how to write the perfect thank you note. And there's nothing wrong with making a weak area stronger. But what happens is that many of these job seekers are so focused on a small point that they miss the one basic truth of job searching. You are a product. The job search is the process of selling you the product. This is a huge mental block that candidates shudder at because it seems sales related. Candidates with reserved personalities aren't as interested in hearing this. They take a big step back from this kind of aggressiveness or assertiveness, this kind of mindset. But guess what? Thinking of the job search as a sales process and yourself as a product gives you a perspective on the whole interview and hiring process that's going to put you miles ahead of the other candidates who don't understand it because they won't know how to package and market themselves in a way that gets them hired or purchased. And if you understand this, you're going to be able to get a job faster and the job you get is probably going to be a better one than you could have gotten before. So let's play this out. If you're the product and the hiring manager is the buyer and the cost is the salary that they're going to pay you to do the work, everything else flows from this. The resume is a marketing brochure that must address the benefits of the product, whether it be time or money saving, money making, value producing, and it must do so using data-based evidence or numbers. Your social media presence is your advertising. This could include Twitter, Facebook, and especially LinkedIn. A targeted direct marketing approach using these social media platforms will get you in front of more potential buyers or hiring managers to get you a statistically much higher chance of getting the job offer or even several job offers. Now the job search in many ways is a number game. So if you contact 20 hiring managers and this gets you one job, then contacting 100 of them could get you five job offers and that's a lot better than one. So remember, the interview is your sales call where you're showing the buyer all the benefits of your product. What can you do for him and the company? This is why I tell all of my candidates to bring a brag book that shows in living color all the wonders that you've done in the past and a 30, 60, 90 day plan that maps out what you'll do in the future. Now the most important part of the interview is closing the deal and this is a sales technique but if you do it well you'll increase your odds of getting the offer by 30 to 40 percent. Most people are intensely uncomfortable with this. I think the results are worth stepping out of your comfort zone for. You always follow up a sales call with a note or a phone call thanking that person for their time and making a final pitch for your product based on what you talked about together. That's your thank you note. And your references are a recommendation from others who've tried your product. Product reviews. Do you see what I mean? Every part and piece of that process works together to sell you as a candidate. And you do have to master the individual parts and I talk about exactly how to do this on my website, Career Confidential. But once you get your mind wrapped around the idea of selling yourself as a candidate just like you would a product, you're already way ahead of the game. Best of luck. I'll see you at the top.